Yo, como estas? Mi nombre es el Nacho de la Muerda, and welcome back to the Battlefield Hardline beta. And now that we've covered the basics in the previous video, how to beta, it's time to move on to some myth busting because apparently every 12 year old in the beta has been hounding me with questions about exactly how certain pieces of the game work. So allow me to delineate between what is a myth and what is actually the truth, starting with myth number one Riot shields can block RPGs. Confirmed, but only with one. If your enemy hits you with a second one, you're definitely gonna die. Myth number two, riot shields can block most explosives. Confirmed. After extensive testing, we determined that the shield can block basically any explosive that it can keep in front of itself, which includes M320s, breaching charges, also known as C4, and grenades, but it can't block things that come between it and the user, such as trip mines. If you run over one of those, you are gonna get cleaned up with a mop. Myth number three, it's impossible to kill someone with tracer darts. Busted! It is most definitely possible to kill someone with tracer darts. However, it is not exactly realistic. Like, I mean, if I wanted realism, I would go play The Sims, but it only does three damage to the chest and four to the head. So you can either soften the guy up with bullets first or be prepared to be firing these things at the dude all night long. All night long. Myth number four, RPGs can lock onto tracer vehicles, but not human beings. Bust it again! As sadistic as it may sound, you can actually stick a tracer dart in some dude's chest and fire a homing rocket directly at him. Welcome to Battlefield Hardline, nerd! Myth number five, the developer of the game, Visceral, has a sense of humor. Well, there's this movie poster, and the slogan is, One cop is about to cross the line. And, you know, the game is called Hardline. Like, get it? Like, there's the line. Wh whatever, you know what? Never mind. Sense of humor confirmed. And can we just take one moment, just one moment to talk about Kelly Who's facial expressions for a second? Like, I've played hours of the campaign, all right? Hours. And her face barely even moves. It's like she's injected enough Botox to kill a full-grown rhinoceros. Like, I, would it kill you to smile every once in a while, Kelly? Yeah, whatever. Botox confirmed, all right? Botox confirmed. Myth number six. You are unable to tell whether or not a vehicle is sabotaged. Busted! You can easily tell if a vehicle is sabotaged by looking underneath the chassis. If it's glowing red, you know it's a car bomb. Just don't forget that you can remove this car bomb by using your repair torch on it. That's something that you might want to remember. Myth number seven, melee weapons can damage vehicles.
confirmed, but keep in mind that only the heavier weapons like the sledgehammer and the door breacher can inflict damage, which means that you can jump around all you want beating my vehicle with your baseball bat and it will never explode because it's technically a light melee weapon. And yes, before you ask, you can blow up the gas tanker with only a hammer and it is extremely fun. Myth number eight, the coupe is faster than the sedan. Confirmed, but I must add that I tested this so many times and they are nearly the same the the coupe is just slightly faster and Oftentimes the position of the vehicles themselves on the map is different for different players due to lag and netcode That's something that I noticed it can be in two different places on two different players screens And obviously the same goes for the police equivalent of both the coupe and the sedan So don't think that just because they're the cop equivalents that they can outrun you the cops can't outrun you Myth number nine the heavy melee weapons can't break riot shields Busted! The door breacher and the sledgehammer can break the riot shield, but it takes six swings to do so, obviously needing a seventh to kill the enemy in a final swipe. Also, keep in mind that this does not work for the other heavy melee weapons like the machete, so you can hit it a thousand times with that thing and it will not break. So stick with the sledgehammer or the door breacher, anything else is not going to be worth your time. Myth number 10. Repair torches detonate enemy explosives. Busted! The repair torch actually serves as a method of diffusing enemy explosives, which includes breaching charges, trip mines, and sabotage car bombs, so that is extremely handy. Myth number 11, smoking is not allowed on the top floor of the parking structure. Confirmed! Myth number 12, the small and the RPG fly at the same speed. Busted, the small flies slightly faster and has less drop over range. Sorry about that one, Russia. Myth number 13, the gas tanker can repair itself. Busted! The gas tanker cannot automatically repair itself unlike the other vehicles of Hardline. Kind of... Kind of a bummer there. And that's about all the myths that I've wanted to bust so far. Now if you're puzzled about something in the game or you think something's a myth that you want me to test, 
please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to try it out. I may not be able to get to it by the end of the beta that ends February 9th, but I will definitely be able to get to it when Hardline comes out on March 17th, which if I'm not mistaken is St. Patrick's Day. I have no idea why I know that. Don't forget to say hello to Steve. Hello, Steve. Oh, and I almost forgot my final myth. Does Big Eddie's Spaghetti's actually sell spaghetti? Nope. Mm, nope, Eddie is a liar. I've searched this entire restaurant and there are zero signs of any spaghetti. It's like, come on, Eddie. I skipped out on my mom's spaghetti to eat here. And you know how good my mom's spaghetti is. I'm not even sweaty right now. I don't even, why did I come here if you don't serve spaghetti? Eddie, why? Eddie, you slimy piece of sh-